Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm going to be going over, uh, this is my first day team lineup. We're going to go over it. I'm going to tell you how I got each of them, and we'll, we'll do it like that. So this is 11.47 p.m. I go back, see, 11.47 p.m. on Tuesday, August 26th. And so we'll start with the offensive line. Nate Solder, uh, Andy Levitre, Ryan Khalil, uh, Alex Boone and Goster Cherilis are my starting linemen. No one below an 84, and no elites, ironically, though. Um, Lane Johnson is backing up right tackle, and Brian McKinney is backing up left tackle, uh, just to give a little bit of a depth. Um, I'll get this all set up once I've sold all the golds that I don't want. I'll get my depth chart fully set up. Uh, but for right now, just grinding some solos and whatnot, this is good enough. Uh, tight end, Dave Casper, pulled him out of a pack. Um, and then Lardarius Green is my backup because I do like to run some two tight end sets. And Lardarius Green is pretty darn good uh, for what he is. Uh, so let's hop into the throwing and rushing. Uh, so we got Vic as my quarterback like always. Tyrod Taylor, if I'm feeling a little bit bored or I get real far up, I can switch up to Tyrod Taylor. Uh, for fullbacks, I just bought Marcel Reese. Um, I need him for the Raiders collection anyway, so um, I see no problem with me picking him up now. Uh, also, um, he's a beast. I'll probably be using him as my fullback anyway, so I'll probably end up buying another one. Uh, so that that's one thing. And then Hamano Manui is a tight end, but I'm going to use him as my backup fullback. Uh, halfbacks, LeGarrette Blunt and Steven Ridley. I do kind of like a two-headed monster attack for now. I do want to get a better running back, but they're too ex they're not too expensive, but they're they're more than I want to pay for a running back at this point. Maybe tomorrow I'll move in and pick up a halfback. That'll be my move tomorrow. Uh, finally picked up a good wide receiver in Des Bryant. Uh, picked up a go-to number one wide receiver. Uh, got him for 79k. I was in a bidding war for Megatron, but I gave up on it. It sold for about 279k, and I just decided I could do without Calvin. So uh, I got Des Bryant on a bid for 79. So that's pretty good. I think he's about 79 by it now. Now, but um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, pulled Deshaun Jackson. He's been a beast for me. He's going to uh, get a little bit easier time now that he's got the second corner on him, not the first. Uh, also, Pierre Garçon slots down at well. Reggie Wayne and Jeremy Macklin. Nothing too special there at wide receiver except for probably Dez and Deshaun. Uh, moving on to my defense, my favorite part of my team. We'll start out with the linebacking core. Uh, Pull Patrick Willis out of a pack. I don't know if I was recording that. I might have been. Uh, but Patrick Willis pulled him out of a pack. Levante David, you saw me pull one. I actually sold them for more than I bought this one for. Um, I bought this one off the auction uh, on tonight. Um, but the other ones I pulled on my own, the Levante David. So, but this one was acquired through purchasing. Kerrigan, uh, I don't really know what I want to do with my last outside linebackers just yet. Uh, so Ryan Kerrigan for now has been good enough. With Dante Howard, Dequell Jackson, and John Abraham. John Abraham is a beast, but Levante David's stats are nasty if you look at them. Uh, we'll go over here. Uh, they're just nasty for a guy like him. He's got 98 tackles, just for example, 98 pursuit, uh, 88 jumping so he can get up and swat down those balls. Uh, nice finesse and power moves for a linebacker. 75 block shed, which is pretty good. He can play pretty good zone. He can play decent man. Uh, he's got some high stamina. And he's got a decent hit power at 81. Uh, but moving on to safeties. Uh, bought my boy Charles Woodson earlier today for, I think, 16K. And I've got Mike Mitchell backing him up. On the other side, I've got uh, Rashad Jones and Raheem Moore backing him up. Nothing special there. I'm obviously going to upgrade this Charles Woodson to the 90 overall Charles Woodson. I'm thinking I can get that all complete tomorrow. Um, I think it's going to cost me like 70 or 80k, which is high, but um, I still have a ton of elites, not elites, a ton of golds to sell. I think I have about probably 300k left in golds to sell, I would predict. 300k in golds, but um, it could be anywhere from a minimum of 100 to well over four or 500,000 if I have some pretty good, if my linemen sell for a lot or uh, some of the other higher overall. So. 
Uh, my secondary, um, I did have Joe Hayden. I traded um, my friend uh, for Joe Hayden. I traded him a Matt Forte and 55K for Hayden. Then I sold Hayden and picked up Revis. Pretty much swapped Hayden for Revis. Uh, you guys know I had to get Revis. He's on the Patriots now, so uh, it's, I'm happy to bring him to my team. Uh, also, you guys saw that video of me pulling flashback Antonio Cromartie. Uh, so that's pretty big. Uh, my secondary is looking huge with Aqib Tlaib as my third corner and then DRC as my fourth. I haven't played as much four corners in this game as I usually do in Mutt, but uh, I expect that to change here when I pick up another corner. Hopefully, hopefully Champ Bailey. I have my eyes targeted on Champ Bailey. As soon as he hits 20k like he was way earlier today, when I should have pulled the trigger on him, um, I'll probably pick him up and I'll start running some four corner sets and all that different junk. Um, Michael Johnson and Fletcher Cox are my right ends. There's nothing real special here. Uh, Lamar Houston's my left end. Dontari Pope. Marcel Darius is a monster. Every time he comes in when I have four down linemen, he just shreds. This dude's got to have, like, 15 or 16 sacks. Um, not just in solos, but also I've played uh, two online games, and he's just been crazy. Uh, Nick Fairley is also pretty good. Um, I'll probably end up selling Fairley uh, because I can pro I'll probably sub in. I'll probably get Will Fork. Uh, to actually solidify at the end of my line. So I'll probably end up selling Dontari Poe, too. Uh, I'm probably just going with, like, um, a Brio Franklin or Kendall L Kendall Langford, I think, has... No. Let's see here. I forget who it is. Maybe... I don't know. I'll probably go with somebody big. Uh, um, probably doesn't have to... Aaron Donald. Here we go. This dude's got the... Is, has the highest speed for any D tackle, uh, and so I'll probably end up slotting him in at uh, the backup D tackle position. Uh, but this is the part of the team that I'm working on the most is a secondary. I want to pick up, obviously, that 90 overall Woodson, and I want to pick up either Cam Chancellor or put Chrome, or not Cromartie, McCordy there. Um, I think it's probably going to be Cam because I want that hit power. Uh, but I want to make my D I'm working on my defense first and then moving on to my offense because I am better on offense than I am playing defense. And defense is also my favorite side of the ball. So we're going to work on this first. I might go out and pick up, I don't know who I want to get for my left outside linebacker. I got about 262K to work with. I want to always have over 100K here at the beginning of my, uh, so I've got some coins to work with here. I'm going to pick up some big, big name players here starting. I'm going to start picking up the high overalls and uh, start this team rolling. I do want to do another flashback collection, uh, maybe this weekend, not tomorrow, uh, and see if I can pull something else fun uh, for the flashbacks. It's more fun, like, uh, the, if I would have bought Cromarty off the auction, it wouldn't be anywhere near the hype that I had when I pulled him out of the pack. It's just so much more fun to get what you want out of a pack. Uh, moving on to special, there's nothing special here. I pulled Matt Prater out of a pack and same with Shane Lepler. Uh, probably Will Montgomery is going to go here. Uh, he won't be here anymore. As soon as I get to him, I'll just slot in Ryan Khalil, uh, at my actual center there. Uh, Steven Ridley's my third down running back. Uh, Prater's the kickoff. Djax is my returner, uh, with DeAnthony Thomas as the, uh, other side. If there's two, five, two returners back, then Devin Hester and Leon Washington are there as well. Uh, but that's just a look at um, my team. Uh, this is my day one team. Uh, I'll show you my playbooks and all that stuff. Uh, Coach is Andy Reid. Um, stadium, Patriots, Panthers offense, Patriots defense. I might change up the defense, but I do like that Patriots defense. The Bucks away because I collected my Patriots away jersey. So, yeah, I don't have those right now, and I don't really feel like buying. Um, I should probably switch this up to a zone defense chemistry coach. Do I even have one? Is there, there we go. Pete Carroll. Could go with Carroll. Is it Pete Carroll or no one? <laughs> what? Uh, Bruce Arians. Anybody else? Some defense. No, I'll just put Bruce Arians in for now. Uh, my team's a 94. I need to get it to a 95 so I can have the dual chemistries. Uh, but for now, we're an 84. I'll show you my binder real quick, uh, just the golds and the leads. 
Uh, I'll show you my collectibles. I guess I got 45. Most of them are bronze, as you can see. And then I have a nice 2, 4, 6, 7 uh, golds. Uh, no silvers and no elites right now. I used up all my elites on that flashback pack, uh, which was well worth it. But that's all the collectibles that I have. I have a bunch of coaches, stadiums, playbooks, and uniforms to continue to rinse and repeat those collections in order to get badges. Um, that'll probably continue maybe Thursday night while I watch uh, the football games or maybe Friday, I don't know, um, Sunday. There's got, there'll be a day where I just uh, sit down and start doing those again. It probably won't be tomorrow because I'm kind of sick of doing those collections repeatedly. We'll go all offense and we'll look at the gold cards that I have. I have 74. Um, not necessarily the highest, but you can see some high 80s. There's an extra Goster Cheryless there in 86. So I'm assuming these guys will at least go for a decent chunk. I, I'm i hoping. Um, that's that's the hope. But obviously if they don't go for too much, that's all right. As long as I can sell them. Uh, like 85 Nate Solder, that's pretty good. Uh, three uh, 83 Warfords. Uh, so I don't really know how much he is since I have so many of them. Uh, we'll look at the defensive players, and then I will wrap this video up, guys. Let's go down here and look at all defense. I'm uh, not seeing anything too big off the start here that I can sell. Uh, Lance Briggs, he's decent price. I think he's like 6 or 7K. Uh, the Nick Fairley, uh, it's not a bad option for selling. 85 overall. Um, I'm not actually seeing it anymore. I can sell Rashad Jones, I guess, because I'm going to be switching him out. I'll probably be able to sell Kerrigan because I'll be switching him out. Uh, two Mike Mitchells, pretty good. I think I'm going to keep Raheem Moore as a backup. Uh, Reggie Nelson, uh, Dontari Poe. I'll have two Dontari Poes, depending on how much they sell for and how much Will for because it'll be interesting. But then you can just take into consideration all these 70s are going to go anywhere from the discard value at 250 all the way up to some being 10,000. Uh, and Adrian Wilson's also a nice card I might be able to sell. But um, I've already been doing a lot of selling. Um, I can show you a little bit here. If I go over to auctions and trades, um, my auctions, I've got seven auctions still remaining up. But you can see all the stuff that I've sold. Uh, I don't even think this is all of it. This is just some of the stuff that I've sold today because uh, I think it actually kicks some off at a certain point, but I'm selling these guys right now. Um, Kendall Wright and Brian Hartline probably won't sell, but I think these overnight should probably sell, and then I'll put up 13 more cards here uh, before I go to bed here in a little bit, because i got to get up early tomorrow. But uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. You know, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, um, and I will probably be putting up a lineup video weekly if my team changes enough, or just when it changes, we'll see. Uh, but I will catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.